guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Chelsea we are a family of eight and this is our grocery haul for the week we are eating trim healthy mama yeah um but, well, me my husband and my oldest 100% on plan the other kids except for the baby who is seven months and doesn't really eat are doing it mostly on plan but with substitutions that kids can have maybe a few treats here or there so first I'm going to show you my Aldi haul right now. Alright guys, so this is part of the Aldi haul. Um, this is mostly just because I did need a dinner for today. And then I just went ahead and got some produce and stuff from Aldi. So I'll show you that real quick. I got some bananas. You'll see my Walmart haul after this in just a second. I got more bananas from there. But we are out of a lot of stuff today. And Walmart order could not be picked up till tomorrow. So this is what I picked up from Aldi. Bananas. Um, two things of asparagus just for a side one night at dinner. Some little small bell peppers. Uh, we're going to have deconstructed fajitas tonight. So that's for that. We'll have some left over, I'm sure. I got four cantaloupes for breakfast or snack. Got some peanut butter crackers. My kids love those. Got a box of kiwis and four little crates of blueberries. Got a bag of apples and a bag of pears. I have more apples coming in my Walmart haul. I got one big bag of oranges. Probably should have gotten two of those. We still have some little mandarins. Um, but yeah, we go through the oranges lately. Got some whole wheat tortillas for if the kids want to turn their deconstructed fajitas into just fajitas and put them on a tortilla. But I also got brown rice. Um, and Aldi didn't have any other brown rice than this. So I just got three of these. Hey, alright, hold on a second. To serve underneath if someone wants rice with their chicken or they can do tortillas or a low-carb wrap or make a bowl with like lettuce and avocado so lots of different options there Ari's excited about the blueberries I have a bag of onions we are running out I have a bag of straw or not strawberries <laughs> sweet potatoes we were all out of those I don't need those for a dinner but just for those of us who might want a potato uh, with something we are still doing trim healthy mama this will be our third week um, and we're just basically on it 100% now, except for some of the kids. You see mac and cheese there. So, but we're getting closer. We got avocados. I'm really enjoying this um, sprouted bread here. This is really good. It's called Graintastic. The ingredients are pretty good, and it has like seven grams of carbs. Um, we got some turkey. We've been enjoying lots of things with turkey. Some little turkey quesadilla type things with turkey and laughing cow cheese and spinach. And you grill it or you fry it. It's really good. You don't fry it, but you make it in your skillet. <laughs> this grilled chicken is for our deconstructed fajitas. Tonight is going to be so easy. What is on me? Something's on me. Something orange. Anyway, it'll be really easy. Heat this up. Heat this rice up. Uh, make some onions and bell peppers. It's going to be super simple. We got one thing of sandwich cheese. Hold on. I'm getting more from Walmart tomorrow, but just in case someone wants a sandwich. We are out out of cheese 100% like we ate our food up pepper jack yeah but yeah this week I mean normally I still have fruit and some fruit some veggies some cheese when I go grocery shopping I have none like we have gone through no salad I didn't get any more salad from Aldi either it's all coming from Walmart I just realized Aaron's like oh no anyway a pound of shredded cheese and four boxes of mac and cheese and that is all let me wash the blueberries and you can have some from Aldi so now I'll show you Walmart which for me will be tomorrow but for you it'll be right now and now here is my Walmart haul all right so a few things I needed I couldn't get from Aldi like I said in the last clip um so this is what I got from Walmart some of this I could have got from Aldi but anyway it's how the cookies crumbled is that what they say how the cookies crumble okay we have been going through the salad I don't even know if this will be enough we'll find out um, I got bigger bags than normal. We went through it last week so fast we ran out before the week was over. I also have a big bag of spinach over there we can mix with these. And I forgot to get romaine heads. Um, so we'll see how long it lasts. But I did get three bags of this premium romaine salad. Probably should have got more dressing. Anyway, that's what we got. We got two bags of chopped spinach for a recipe. I will tell you my meal plan at the end of this video. Um, we got some celery, some seasoning blend. You use this a lot on Shrimp Healthy Mama. We got some green onions and a bunch of radishes for a stew we're going to make. There's the spinach I was talking about. We got some more bananas. We're already, we have one left from our bananas I got from Aldi yesterday. That's how quick we ate them. Uh, snack wise, we snack a lot on cheeses and nuts and fruits. So string cheese, cheese cubes, and then um, just some Colby Jack cheese. A lot of y'all, let's see, I asked about Swiss cheese last week. Some of y'all hated it, some of y'all loved it. So I guess it's just you either love it or hate it. There was no like, eh, I'll eat it, but it was either I love it or I hate it. So anyway, I love it. But we got Colby Jack to please the masses this week. So Liam is super excited. We finally got pepperoni. Aldi never has it anymore, so yay for Walmart. 
We got some red grapes, some heavy whipping cream, and almond milk. I'm not using regular coffee creamer anymore. We also make um, a really yummy Trim Healthy Mama shake, and you need a little bit of this for that. And sometimes recipes call for it, but mostly coffee in that shake. And then if I'm having an e-breakfast, which is like a carb breakfast, I'll use almond milk with stevia. So anyway. That explains that. Some butter. I probably could have gotten more, but that's okay. I ordered two of the larger cream cheeses. There's something on that. But they gave me one of the larger, not cream cheese, cottage cheese. One of the larger and two of the smaller. So we use that as a snack a lot. Um, and you can add it to protein shakes too for added protein. Two of the third fat cream cheese for recipes. We made a breakfast casserole the other day. You'll probably have already seen that vlog, yes, with this in it. Oh, it was so good. Um, I'll try to remember to link that video below so you can watch that. A bunch of these triple zero yogurts. I don't really eat a lot of yogurt anymore, but if I want to, I can have that. And my kids and Aaron. So, some shredded cheddar, looks like Fiesta Blend cheese. Some shredded mozzarella cheese. Two things of the Laughing Cow cheese. That's really good on sprouted bread. Yeah, Aria is anxious for me to finish so we can go to the YMCA. She's like, and this, and this, and this. Um, what was I going to say? Sprouted bread, and also we make like some little quesadillas. Hey, Aria, shh. Where you just take the turkey and you spread this on it, you put some spinach on it, you can do peppers, tomatoes, and you fold it over and put it on your frying pan. It's good. Anyway, two pizza sauces. These are the sugar-free pizza sauces we can have. I got some pasta for the kids, like as a snack or a meal one day. A meal, not a snack. We were out of pepper. We got that. We needed sriracha for a recipe. And Aaron likes to put it on lots of things, so he'll be happy. Uh, oregano. I just realized we were running out of that in my pantry. Liam has a birthday coming up. He, he will be 10 years old. <laughs> oh! I cannot believe it. Um, anyway, he loves a crock pot cake. He's had it for his birthday for, shoot, I don't even know how many years in a row. <laughs> you put this in the bottom of your crock pot, two of them, a box of spice cake on top, and a stick of butter on top, and you let it cook. It's delicious. They did not have spice cake, so I'll have to go elsewhere for that. We got some sesame oil for a recipe. Parmesan cheese, because my kids love that. I, you can show them in just a second. This is for my husband, just some drink mixes for his water at work beef broth for that stew we're gonna have. We've been eating coconut oil for a long time and I finally remembered it, yay me. We go through the minced garlic incredibly fast, so I got this family size here. <laughs> That'll last a little longer. Got some nuts for everyone to snack on. What are we at, sourdough bread. Liam loves this and you can actually have sourdough on Trim Healthy Mama. You're a Trim Healthy Liam. <laughs> Ari wants to show you the chicken, don't poke it. We have three big things of chicken breast. They're all, let's see, five pounds, five pounds. And five, they're all over five pounds. This makes a lot of dinners. I will probably have more than I actually need, but that's okay. I'll just freeze the rest because some of this will be a full meal and some of it gets split. You have to wait. Yeah, swim diapers. Some of this will get split up for two meals. We have some stew meat for the stew. I ordered one big one. They gave me two smaller ones. That's fine. I needed two pounds of ground beef for a skillet lasagna we're going to do. So one pound will just get put away. The kids can add it to that pasta with the spaghetti sauce. Um, or I can throw it into a chili or something. It won't get wasted. Got some already cooked grilled chicken. Um, my kids like this, and so they just put it in the air fryer and fry it. Then they can eat it by itself. They can put it in a wrap, eat it with potatoes. They can put it on their pasta. So many things. Um, it's not very big, but they like it, and it gets used. Swim diapers. Hudson needs those. Um, I want to get some swim cloth diapers, but super quick from Walmart without having to wait for them to come in the mail. I got these. I was glad Walmart had some. We got a whole bunch of eggs. We like eggs around here. Some baby wipes. I do homemade baby wipes, but I keep forgetting coconut oil, and I need that to make them. So I got coconut oil and baby wipes. My diaper bag also needed baby wipes, but that way I have some if I run out of coconut oil and forget to buy it. We were out of shampoo, and then I actually stopped by Dollar Tree yesterday and picked some up, but because we couldn't wait. And two things of conditioner, because we go through that twice as fast as shampoo. We got some stevia for all the things, popcorn for the kids. I'm trying a different kind of coffee. Let me know if you've tried this and if you like it. We will see. Um, I just wanted to try something different, so we got that. I get free and clear detergent because you can use that on cloth diapers, so I just buy that and we use it on everything. That way, if someone helps me do laundry, no one accidentally uses the wrong kind of detergent on cloth diapers. So uh, I miss the good smelling stuff though. I might get some of the beads for the other laundry. I know it's toxic and horrible for you, but I like smelly good things. Two things of the tri-color coleslaw. I make a really good, uh, there's a Trimothy Mama salad with like tuna and apple, and I know that sounds really weird and this, but it is absolutely delicious. 
Um, yeah, I'll try to share that one day when I make it. It's so good. Some quinoa for breakfast. Some of these pasta zeros. I did not realize these were in like water and cold. That's really weird. Anyway, we are having a like a lo mein type dish. So I got that. And you use some of these, and then you also, was it that same recipe that used this too? You spiralize squash or zucchini. We've had a lot of zucchini lately, so I decided to go with squash. Plus, I thought it would match better, and the kids wouldn't be like, why is my pasta green? So, yeah, squash. <laughs> a bag of apples to go with the one I got from Aldi, and we've been here, so. Okay, all of these dinners are going to be from the Trim Healthy Table cookbook, and I will link the cookbook below. Were you excited to see yourself this morning? Um, but I'll go ahead and tell you what they are. If I can get my notebook right. We're going to do sesame lo mein, a lasagna skillet, a blackened chicken taco bowl. Um, it's actually the recipe is for fish, but I don't like fish, so we're doing chicken. Ch uh, chicken noodle soup. We were supposed to make that a few weeks ago, and we ended up using the chicken for something else, and I couldn't get the right noodles, so I was going to do rice, but then I realized it was a fat meal, so I couldn't do rice, so back on the recipe, because I already have like the coconut milk and cilantro and stuff for it, and the uh, broth. Okay, Hudson's chewing my notebook now. Deconstructed fajitas. We actually had that last night. I got the stuff for it from Aldi. Crock pot buffalo chicken. And just because it's super simple. I've made it before. I just call it hot sauce chicken. Uh, it's just chicken and like sour cream and hot sauce and some seasonings in your crock pot. You shred it and you can put it on whatever you want. So, just simple. Um, and then a brown gravy stew, which Walmart did not have my xanthium gum, which is a thickener. So... It'll just be a stew, not a brown gravy stew. Be a juicy stew, but that's fine. So those are our dinners. I will link that cookbook below. I uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Let me know in the comments some of the things that you are having for dinner this week. And say bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Yeah, bye.